everyone. Just ignore the mess or you can't really see it. That's good. This video is dedicated to my mama bear because it is her birthday tomorrow and so I wanted to take the opportunity now to reflect back on all of the favorite things about my mom and the favorite things that we've done together and pretty much kind of just embarrass her a little bit in a video to wish her happy birthday. So let's just jump into it. My mama bear, where do I start? Maybe we'll start when I was little and you left the beer fridge unlocked while you were painting the house and then I got to your rum and I drank a nip of it at the age of like one or two and came running out to you saying hot hot and then you'd realize what I'd done so you gave me a big drink of milk and then I just like slept it off for many many hours that was a good time. There was also the time when you threw all of that water on me when I'd finished playing the game and you said, no, it's fine, we've put it all away, we're not playing that game anymore, Kamara, that's fine. And I came around the side of the house and then you tipped all of the cold water on me again. That was a fun time too. I think my favorite thing is how um, when I was little we always used to say love you as big as a rainbow to each other. That was pretty cute and I love that. I love that I look like you in photos and that one time when you showed me a photo from when you were younger and I said, I don't remember doing that. And then you told me that wasn't me, that was you. So that's a bit scary that I look so much like you and I think it's just gonna get worse as I get older. Thank you for always taking me to the bike park that was across the road from our old house, even though you knew that every time we went there, I was going to fall off my bike and take all of the skin off my hands and knees and then cry about it. Um, but thank you for still taking me there, even though you knew I was going to injure myself. I remember the time that I went to Canberra and I was really excited about it because it was my big first trip on my own. I was only eight and I was super excited. I was going to Canberra to see my auntie and it was gonna be the best. And then you and Nana just cried non-stop at the airport and I didn't realize it was something I should have been sad about until both of you started crying and did not stop. And then I realized, wow, okay, yeah, this is actually quite scary. And then I started crying. So that was a fun time. The time you lost me in Target and I had to go to the jeweler to find you and then you got mad at me but I'm pretty sure you ran away from me when you trick me when we play hide and seek. What about the time when you, okay, admittedly you didn't do it but I will thank you for saving me. Happy birthday to you. I know you're expecting me to sing this in my proper musical theatre voice because you think that now that I'm at musical theatre school I'm suddenly a really great singer but I feel like happy birthday is not one of those songs that you ever sing nicely so I'm just gonna sing it how I sing it. My dad used to catch spiders, well not catch them, my dad used to kill spiders and leave them on the ground and mum hates spiders, hates them. One time she was on the phone talking to Nana and she heard crunch, crunch, crunch and she turned around and there's me at like, I think I was like one, on the floor looking up to at her with spider legs hanging out of my mouth because I ate one of the huntsmen that he killed and left on the floor. And mum threw the phone and put her jumper over her arm because heaven forbid she have to touch the spider that I'm currently eating and then scooped it all out of my mouth and saved my life. Um, yeah, so thank you for that. Thanks, Dad, for leaving them on the floor. Thank you for buying me um, my first two cats, one that sadly got hit by a car and the other one that you rescued from a drain. Well, we bought it from a pet shop that was been rescued from the drain. She was kind of doomed from the get-go, but we loved that damn cat, bloody Amy. She didn't know that she was falling off things until she'd hit the floor. She only had one and a half years because she got in a cat fight and the other cat ripped her ear off. She was a terror, right? She was insane. But thanks for getting me an insane cat. Thank you for not murdering me too much when I left my grade one swimming bag at school with my brand new swimmer set in it that had like the top, the bottom, and then a little skirt that went with it. And then my friend grabbed my bag for me and I completely forgot about my swimming bag and we left it there. And then the next day I came back to get it and it had been stolen. So thank you for not killing me over that because like I still feel guilty about that. And that was in grade one. That was a long time ago. I should be over it by now and I most definitely am not. Oh, do you remember that one time when we were in Darwin and Annie Lee was like, oh, picks up a thing of coconut like body butter. Mum hates the smell of coconut. Mum hates coconut in general, unless it's fresh or shredded, doesn't want to know about it. Anyway, Annie Lee picks up, this is mum's best friend, picks up this thing that smells like coconut goes, Oh, Sherelle, you are gonna love this. Come and smell this. And Mum's like, oh, okay. 
and literally like was dry heaving. She hated it. It was so, so funny though. It was so funny. And that was when we went to the Cyclone Tracy kind of museum thing and we stood in this room and it like simulated what Cyclone Tracy was like. And we stood there and pretty much shut ourselves for 30 seconds and then ran out because it was horrifying. Do you also remember that time at your 40th when we sang a beautiful duet together of Love Story by Taylor Swift with pool cues while you were playing pool. Oh no, that's right, you don't remember your 40th. I also love that when you put blush on, not only do you put it on your cheeks, but you put it on your chin, your nose, your forehead, and pretty much your entire face. I think it's cute that you wanna look like you're blushing all day and like just red from embarrassment. It's great. Thank you for coming to literally every calisthenic competition, I think bar one or two. One, I think, was because you were really, really sick and literally had to go home because you were so ill. And the other one, I think, was because there was something else on and you couldn't come that day. And I was like, no, nah, it's totally fine. Don't need to hear. That's all good. See you later. Thank you for putting me in calisthenics because I was very uncoordinated as a child and could not, not only could I not clap to music, I couldn't clap. And I had an interned hip and used to trip myself over. So thank you for like saving my life and putting me in something that I love so, so much. Thank you for always doing the colouring in competitions for me when I was younger because I meant A, I didn't have to do them and B, I was always going to win because your colouring in was way better than mine and for a six year old, your colouring in is pretty damn good. So thanks for always letting me win colouring in competitions by doing them for me. Thank you for helping me choreograph my lip sync competition entries in primary school because thanks to you, I won twice in a row and I really don't think I would have if you hadn't have helped me. Thank you also for making all of my calisthenics costumes, no matter how elaborate I decide that they need to be. Thank you for individually sequining an entire like peacock floral like vintage design thing over an entire graceful dress just because I decided that I wanted it to be that way. Thank you for being you. You're pretty great and I don't think you realize like how great you are and how much like I appreciate you and like love you for like everything you do. You're the best. I'm not saying it ever again after this video. If you want to hear me say something nice about it, you, you can just watch this video, right? So, there you go. You're also really good at Kino and I don't understand how. Oh, that's right, you use my numbers. Never give me any of the winnings. I'm the one who picked the numbers and then you win and you're like, I won, it's my money. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I need some commission. I'm poor, please help me. Thank you for pretty much organizing all of not only my 18th, but my 21st. My 21st was like hectic as, and not only did you organize it, but together we made all of the invitations and the goddamn cake, and you made my costume. Like, are you a wizard? I think you are, which means I'm a wizard, which I kind of already knew that anyway, so that's exciting. My favorite thing with you is laughing at really stupid stuff till we can't breathe. Like that time when I read you my grade one storybook and you just wet yourself laughing. Or when you try and get me to whistle and then you stand there and go, ooh, and then I end up going, ooh, and then we just laugh about that for no reason. Or when we're walking through shopping centers and we're trying to do like the around leg thingy and I always purposely go the opposite way to your, what you're doing so that we crash into each other and you just think it's the funniest thing ever. We both know I'm doing it on purpose, but God, it's so funny. And I love our little coffee dates and we go and get like, you get a mocha and then I get whatever I feel like on the day and we get raisin toast and then we just like, whenever we go shopping, we kind of just decide that we deserve a treat and need to eat our feelings and then we just go and buy something disgusting and just sit and eat it together and it's always the best. And I also really like surprising you with like things that you never expect me to buy you like when for Christmas I got you the naked palette and you were like not expecting me to buy you that at all and then when you opened it you got super super excited. That was really great. And I guess I really hope that you have that same feeling with this dumb video and that you have the best birthday because you absolutely deserve it and I love you as big as a rainbow and I will come and visit you soon if I have not already. I miss you. I love you. Bye. Say hello.